Good morning, everyone. So, yesterday's video is on the death of Windows, um, and with that, there's no indication of what Microsoft is going to do as a replacement for Windows 10. Uh, they announced a couple years ago they were out, um, and so, yeah, what do we do? So, in five years, roughly, you know, Microsoft can kill off Windows 10 anytime they want, but in five years, Windows 10 is going to retire. Uh, at least that was what the official indication was a couple of years ago. Now they just do these updates with rolling expiration dates. So what's what are we to do? What's going to happen? Um, well, we're all going to have a big learning curve if Microsoft decides to get out. Um, and it's a very possibility. So with this, I thought I would talk about some of the other operating systems that are out there that uh, I am aware of um, that I can offer some support for. Um, they're not real popular, or real big in our area, but it's one of those things that you might wake up one day, your computer's dead, the next computer you buy has this on it. So, of course, this is our, rec our recording um, VP our virtual machine that I use, so let me minimize this and show you. Um, so, over here, this is the Chrome OS. Now this is, if you have a Chromebook, um, this, this particular flavor uh, of Chrome OS is built off the Linux system, which I previously mentioned in the video, um, or yesterday's video, that Linux will probably be the replacement for it. If you have a Chromebook, um, this is probably somewhat familiar to you with how it works. Yeah, there's, uh, I've got it running in demo mode. But there's your Google Chrome, and then, you know, your buttons are where they're supposed to be. Um, so if you've used a Chromebook all of your life, um, yeah, this is, you're kind of familiar with this already. Uh, like I said, this flavor of Chrome is built on a Linux system, so it's not exactly what a Chromebook looks like. Um, but this gives you an idea of what they're talking about when they transition over to a different operating system. Uh, and this one is officially classified as a Chrome OS. So, um, yeah, there's uh, open offices, what they um, included in here for offline um, office productivity, but more than likely if I ins fully installed this, um, this would uh, definitely put all the links in for Google Drive and um, Google Docs and uh, Gmail and all that stuff. So, again, this is a more Linux flavor versus uh, actual uh, Chrome um, operating system, but this is close enough, like I said. And so their browser is, uh, or File Explorer is the Nautilus system, da, da 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 I don't see this one taking off very much except for Chromebooks specifically. And a lot of the kids um, going through school systems now, they get Chromebooks, and so they're familiar with how Chromebooks work. Um, brilliant move by Google to get into the educational market and basically, I don't want to say give away Chromebooks to schools, but this has virtually ensured the kids that are graduating from high school uh, because they've only ever known a Chromebook unless mom and dad had a, a desktop at home with Windows on it. These kids have only known Chromebooks um, and the Chromebooks operate very similar to their phones. So, yeah, they're, they're poised to take over a good portion of the market when Windows 10 uh, retires, uh, simply because they drilled it into the kids' heads when they were in school. So, but this is the, the Chrome OS. Like I said, um, it looks different than on a Chromebook, but this is designed for desktops, laptops, etc. So the, the other one I wanted to bring up, and let me get out of here, there's actually two other flavors that are popular right now. And this is uh, Linux Mint. Let me maximize this. And I'll put in my super hard password. So this is Linux Mint. Um, this is the Cinnamon. Yeah, you know, if you get Android phone, they, you know, have different fl or different code words for their operating systems. Uh, this is Cinnamon for Linux Mint. It's been around for a while. Uh, this is version 20, I believe. Yes. <sighs> Again, it's pretty similar to Windows 10. You know, you've got your, your start buttons over here. This pops up just kind of like what you're used to. Um, as for a browser, I think they have their own browser, but I think they tend towards Firefox. 
oh, this is the software manager. So like Windows 10, you have the App Store. Uh, Apple, you have an App Store. Google, you have an App Store. Linux has an App Store. <laughs> so um, there it is. Firefox is their default browser for Linux Mint, and I think that is also true with the other one. Uh, but you can install like Google Chrome, um, Microsoft Edge, because Microsoft Edge is now Chromium-based, so it'll work on Linux. But yeah, it's it's pretty much this is it. And the the downside to it as of right now is the fact that although this operating system and the other one I will show you in a minute, Ubuntu, um, they are gaining popularity, they are gaining support, people are um, writing software for these operating systems. Uh, they they just don't have the market share yet. Um, and that may change over the course of nine, the next five years as Windows dies out. These two operating systems may kick in. Um, you can run Windows operating software. You can run um, QuickBooks and Office and uh, pretty much anything that is Windows based short of high end complex games. Uh, you can run them under the Linux Mint or under Ubuntu using the Wine um, program. It's a, a Windows uh, emulator. So if you have QuickBooks for Windows uh, and Windows dies and you need to make the transition, yeah, you can you can run it on the Linux system. In fact, I suspect that in the years to come as the end of Windows comes to, you know, its death point or retirement age, that Mint and Ubuntu, which I'll show you here in a second, will um, enhance their Windows interface because ironically, Microsoft added a, a Linux subsystem to it. Mint and Ubuntu added a Windows subsystem to their operating system. At least that's what I've read. Um, I don't know if it's actually been true or not, but you've always been able to with Linux um, using a Wine, and that's what it's called, Wine, using Wine um, or Proton, uh, run Windows programs. It just, you've always been able to do that. It's just, it's not Windows. Everyone up in this area grew up with Windows. And so to see a different operating system, op, you know, to see a different operating system that's not Windows except for Chrome or Mac, um, kind of like befuddles them, confuses them. And yes, you will have a learning curve. Um, there is nothing I can do about that. Um, but the, the general layout is the same. Like I said, your clock is over here. Time is off because the time zone is off. I didn't change it. I just installed it to show you this. You know, you've got, you know, there's, I've got a Bluetooth in my computer. It's picking up the Bluetooth. And this is a virtual machine also. It's not uh, uh, live on a real computer. So, but yeah, um, this is Linux. Uh, this is Mint. Let me show you Ubuntu. Uh, and Ubuntu is sleeping. There it is. Same thing. Put in my super strong password. Which I will uninstall this. This is Ubuntu. Again, their layout a little bit different, but not too hard and complex. Um, they've got their power button up here where, you know, Windows is down here. They put their toolbar on the left. Yeah, but this is this is the uh, Ubuntu system. You see that they are using Firefox as their primary. Um, they already come pre-installed with LibreOffice, where I think the other one used um, the OpenOffice. It's the same thing. Um, it's an offline Office productivity packages. I've dem demonstrated those in other videos on here. Uh, Thunderbird, this one actually comes pre-installed with the Thunderbird Mail. Um, Thunderbird at one time was retired and then they brought it out of retirement. So this is your email client for those who are using Outlook. Um, but yeah, this is this is it. Um, pretty similar. Um, you know, there's your desktop, there's your documents, downloads, music, pictures, when, uh, videos, just like Windows 10. It's there. Um, and so, and of course, there's an app store to download new apps. That's what this is here. Oh, I don't have it hooked up properly. That's why. Oh, there it goes. Um, so yeah, it, it takes a little bit of time for that to load because I've got it routing through the computer and then off to the internet. But yeah, this is where you get your, it's an app store, just like on Windows 10, on Apple, on Google, there's an app store. 
Uh, you know, so I mean, it's this is going to be one, you know one of your options when Windows dies. Um, you know, you've got your DVD players, your help, so on and so forth. So yeah, everyone be prepared. Um, by the time we get to the end of Windows and we have to start changing over to different operating systems, this is what you're looking for, um, is an operating system that you can easily adapt to. Ubuntu and Mint are the two leading um, resources right now. Uh, if you want to get familiar with them, um, I can certainly load them up on a virtual machine on your computer so you can kind of play with them on your own uh, to, to begin to learn uh, how to use them, you know, be ahead of the curve <clears throat> because this is going to just completely, especially the older generation, it's going to just completely just ruin their day. Um, they all whined and complained when Windows 10 took over Windows 7. This is going to be worse. Uh, so in about five years, if you're in the IT field doing consumer work, yeah, um, you, you're not going to be very much loved and it's no fault of your own, but um, this is what's going to happen. So, but the, again, uh, Ubuntu, uh, you know, this is it, the, the, the general overall view, um, you know, file operating system looks very familiar to Windows uh, 10, you know, so I think most people my age and younger should be able to make the transition halfway decent. Um, but you know the older generation yeah it, it's just not going to to like the change very much you know you've and there's your i'm doing the power off i'm going to shut it down but it's the same thing you do update does the updates just like windows 10 does it does you know everything that you normally expect it to do it's just it's not windows <laughs> so so that's that's the general overview of the operating systems that are alternatives um yeah, they're coming down the line. You might not have a choice. Five years until Windows 10 retires. Don't know what you're going to do at that point, but let me get this kill off the Chrome one. So you can see it's, it's really, these are your options. And of course, Chrome wants to be a button. And that's not a surprise. Uh, do, do, do. Ah, that's right. You have to kill this off differently. See, even I'm not familiar with this one. So we will kill it off in a slightly different way. Power. There you are. Shut down guest. Because I'll never use it again, more than likely. So, but anyways, yes. Um, with the death of Windows, um, desktops are dying. Windows will be dead. Um, those are your alternatives um, and of course more and more people are developing uh, applications for the web so it won't matter what operating system you have as long as you're using a web-based subscription service um, but for those who are old school kind of like i am and my generation the generation above me and you know some of the generations below me we like our computers we we don't like change <laughs> so um but that's what's going to happen it, it, the change is coming You've got about five five years of notice to, to adapt. Um, like I said, Linux Mint, uh, Ubuntu are the leading Linux kernels or the Linux operating systems for consumer use. There are hundreds of other Linux flavors out there, but those ones you have to buy. I think there's one that's called Educational OS. It's like forty bucks. Really, really nice. Looks like Windows Ten. Um, and then there's another one. I think I called it Light OS. It looks more like a Mac operating system. Again it's it's coming down the line you've got five years be prepared um, some of you who are going to hold off until the very end and then go buy a new computer and rant and rave about it yeah this is this is your warning five years warning um, Windows is dead uh, it's being retired and those are probably going to be your replacements for it so yeah so if you found the video useful yeah hit that big thumbs up button there share it with friends and family subscribe to the channel facebook is up there if you need to get a hold of us questions comments put them in the comments down below check out the video description for the links uh to everywhere you need to go and uh we'll talk to you later you guys have a great day later